What's up guys? Tim here again with another tutorial. And today we're learning how to tie the shark jawbone bracelet. And uh, here's a look at the weave itself. Just want to give you guys a quick close-up look before we get into the tutorial. Really like the weave on this one. The pattern is very nice. Very attractive to look at. And of course, um, this is the knot and loop method. Here's the back side. I think it actually looks quite nice both ways. So yeah, it's very nice. And in terms of difficulty, I would class this one as a novice. It's not. It's definitely quite easy. Um, so if you're a beginner, this would be a great one to start with. All right. So uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right. So getting into the technique, I've got my spine uh, pre-tied, ready to go, and uh, of course I've got my diamond knot tied at the bottom. Now you don't have to tie your diamond knot ahead of time. I just like to do it because um, that way I. I know exactly how much bracelet I need to weave. And you'll notice, um, you know, as you do more and more bracelets for yourself, most of the bracelets will be about the same length, um, depending on the thickness, obviously, of the weave or the main part. Okay, so I've got that ready to go. And if you don't know how to tie this uh, knot, of course, I will annotate it in this video as usual. I've got my uh, two colors that I'm working with already pre-joined, uh, melted together. I'm using tan and the imperial red. I've got about four feet of each. And with this weave, I'm quite sure you can be very safe with the uh, one foot of paracord per inch rule. You can always give yourself a little extra just to be safe, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're going to start up top as usual. I need to keep my excess up here. We're going to start up top as usual. You want to leave yourself that uh, almost half inch loop. And of course, you can always um, adjust this after the first knot. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. So you're going to have to determine uh, which color you want to be your main color and which is the accent. I want my red color to be more prominent, so I'm going to start with the accent color or the um, the opposite color, which is tan in this case, okay? So it's not uh, very similar to the Solomon stitch, just a little different. So we're going to start off with our tan. We're going to go uh, in between our two spine strands here and go over the first one then under the second one. I'm just going to pull this through here, part of my thumbs for a second there. So over the first one, under the second one. Like this, we're going to make a loop on that side. So you just like this, that's where you should be at first. Okay, and then the next one, the red, you're going to go over the spine on this side, under second one and then through I'm gonna make a bigger loop through this loop you just created here okay the first loop is always a little confusing so just um, follow along as best you can but uh, you'll see in the subsequent loops it becomes much more clear okay so we're going to tie this down like this now of course we're gonna try to measure our loop our half inch loop I find for me that my uh, my thumb is actually about, uh, it, if I use my thumb as a gauge, it creates about a half inch loop. That's just me though. Um, you know, everyone's thumbs are different sizes, of course. So that's our first knot. Okay, so this is where it should be right now. Right, and then we're going to continue. So the um, accent color will always be the lead strand. You're always going to use that one first. So I'm going to do the exact same knot but it's just going the other way because uh, it's flipped on the other side, just kind of like a cobra stitch, right? So we're going to make our loop again over this one, un over this one, under the second strand, like that. So now it's much clearer now because you can see what I'm doing. So over, under, and then this one will go over top this strand here, and then over again, over this one, under this one, and through this loop here. So over, under, through the loop like that okay so I'm just gonna hold this here for a sec so you can see what it looks like like that All right and then we're gonna cinch close so this is one of those knots where um, the strands aren't properly kind of positioned in the right spot your weave might look a little weird and you might think that you messed it up but um, just you may have to just work it a little bit and uh, get everything into the right spot. So you'll know you're doing doing it right when you've got this angled piece 
knot here and this one the other color going across okay and that's basically the method so now we're on this side remember so whichever side you're on over that first strand and then under the second one okay so over under like this over under and then of course with the red over the first one over these two and then through the loop you just created there it should be like this okay and then we're going to cinch closed so that's pretty much it we're going to continue weaving now just to uh, give you some little tips see how I was using my thumb just now I use my thumb to push this up and get the weave a little tighter because uh, this one tends to form little gaps so you can use your whichever thumb you want obviously and just kind of push up on it and that gets the uh, the weave nice and tight and give it a good tug not too too much that will start to deform okay so yeah we'll go through it one more time a little more quickly over under then over these two you kind of think of it like the strand over top these two like that X there and then under that kind of X on that side right and then cinch it closed then again push it up pull it tight like that so we can see our uh, shark jawbone forming like that very easy so we're going to continue weaving and then when we get to down to the end we're going to finish it off i'll show you how to, guys how to do that momentarily all right all right guys i'm done weaving woven enough of my uh bracelet here the main weave and now to finish it off i'm just going to do a single solomon stitch at the very end just because it's very secure and it still matches up with the rest of the uh, weave of the bracelet and because my uh, tan cord has been going left and right it ends uh, finishes up pretty nicely too so uh, we're going to take the tan put it over the core like that red over that one and then of course through the loop that we just did and then I'm just going to pull it really tight tight as we can make it nice and secure and that's what it will look like okay and then we're just going to snip and singe off the excess of the um, stopper knot as well and then we'll be done all right, and there we have it, we are finished. So I've uh, snipped and singed the ends of my excess paracord off. So we have it, the ends are nice and clean. Got rid of that excess too here. Here's again, another close up look at this weave. Really, really like the pattern on this one. Um, anytime, you know, as I mentioned before, anytime you have a pattern that you can kind of see from far away and it doesn't look all garbled, um, that's really a winner in my books, okay? There's a backside, you can actually wear this both ways. It looks quite nice both through both sides and because this is not in loop you can you know easily reverse that but uh, this is the way you know that is meant to be shown okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope everything was explained clearly and concisely if I missed anything or if you guys have any problems questions or comments please again feel free to leave them down below I'm more than happy to help you guys out I'll get back to you as soon as I can and uh, I think that's it guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more paracord videos